This technical update is about timing, lag, and tachypsychia. We shot this with an ultra-high-speed video camera. The time code is down in the lower left-hand corner of the window. It's showing the elapsed time in milliseconds. As you can see, this attack, which is called a mandrido fendente, unfolds over the course of about a third of a second, 300 or so milliseconds. During most of that time, the defender on the right is raising his sword to block it. You can see that if the defender started his move 20 or 25 milliseconds later, he'd be too late and he'd lose the fight. This brings us well within Twitch game timing land. If your machine or your TV is a little laggy or your Wi-Fi network is slow or your roommate begins to download perfectly legally obtained content while you're in the middle of a sword fight, you won't be able to play this game effectively no matter how good you might be at it. That's why we need to slow down time. Not a lot, nothing like what you're seeing here, or even max pain levels of slowness, just enough to give everyone a fair shake. Since it's player on player, it doesn't work to let you stop time altogether, as happens in some games. That's how we ended up with the solution we're going to use, which we're calling tachypsychia, a real-world phenomenon, by the way, in which people who are in highly stressful situations, such as combat, perceive a slowing down of time.